Some businesses and organizations will spend today cleaning up following demonstrations that resulted in vandalism on New Year's Eve. Police declared the gathering a riot after protesters threw multiple firebombs at officers and shot off commercial grade fireworks at the federal courthouse and justice center. According to the Portland police, the gathering started around 9 o'clock. They marched through the streets downtown, breaking a window at Starbucks as well. A battleground man is charged with murder after deputies say he shot and killed his neighbor over revving an engine. 50 year old Presley Daniel Millick appeared before a Clark County judge yesterday. You can see him there. Are there any new developments or comments from the U.S. Attorney's Office about the incident where a protester was hit in the head? And what form of less lethal round did the officers use? Was it a rubber bullet or something else? According to Chavez, his client was assaulted by the officer in slow motion here. You see once again that he hit her in the back of the head and then there in the front of the head. Speaking of Hawaii, I just got back from there last night. So let's get right over to meteorologist Kelly Bayern and please tell me, please tell me that the sun <laughs> is going to be out for us this week. It is, yeah, we're transitioning into a nice pattern here. Paul Harlan joins us live to explore the farm this morning and to show us something that he's basically managed to make a career out of, mm -hmm. sip, snack, and shop. So Cor, what are we drinking and what are we eating? <laughs> That's uh, it's tough work if you can get it. We're out here at Abbey Road Farm this morning in Carleton, Oregon, where the sun, as you can see, is coming up from behind the mountains. New this morning, the military has identified the victims of last week's assault vehicle training accident off the coast of Southern California. So two of them are from Oregon and one is from Portland. And Aaron, you and I have talked a lot about this as we've been, you know, moving through all of these changes. But for folks who aren't as familiar with OSHA, can you explain to them how OSHA works? Do they follow Oregon Health Authority policy exclusively or does it act independently just so they can have an idea of what to expect moving forward? You bet. So um, to a large extent, what Oregon OSHA is doing with its rule. Gun violence continues at a record pace this year. In fact, 2020 was a record breaking year for gun related deaths across America as it was here in Portland. And it was also a year of national protests and police cuts. Now Portland commissioners want more cash, but not more cops in the fight against gun violence. Commissioner Carmen Rubio's office just released this proposal. In Portland, the questions that have been raised. Yeah, I think uh, that's so kind of the, the next thing that we wanted to get into was just situationally here. Right, because, you know, sure. we kind of understand what Portland police bases their decisions off of, but what type of situations are federal agents allowed to use force? That means some stores could face shortages of toilet paper in the coming months. Yeah, you know, I'm still mad at all of you weirdos who are out there hoarding <laughs> and stockpiling all you toilet weirdos. paper. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I understand hand sanitizer, yeah. right? Yeah. But everybody else is like five steps ahead of me, including Ken Body over here. Shorter than 4'9", who outgrows a harness seat, must sit in a booster seat. For the record, she asked me if I was uh, shorter than... Four nine. I mean, it, it's close. <laughs> close it's four, enough. Four eleven. <laughs> <laughs> I sit tall at four eleven. We'll take a look at more local news and laws in the next half hour. So no booster seat for you. No booster seat. Mm -hmm. Way better than me. I know. At least tried it recently. I did. We yeah. were on the show. Was good, I was shaking and I was like, I, I didn't have the confidence yes. you have and the swagger. Just you know? practice at home. Okay. Yeah. In the privacy of my own home. Yeah. <laughs> Just make sure no one can see you. Your fiance is gonna walk in and, and be like, like, "What's going what on?" <laughs> oh, look how pretty that looks. Yeah, that's lovely. But before we get, uh -huh. you know, into the exercise, I'm gonna ask you a few questions and then we'll get right to the workout. And that actually helped the movie experience. Do you remember any of that? Yes, with sir. I any was of with choices? my family when I saw it for the first time, which is The Notebook. And I watched it in the movie theater. I was in Oklahoma. This is crazy. I like, didn't even think about this. Now yeah. it's all coming back to me. <laughs> She's going to start this crying. <laughs> so then I was even crying in the parking lot half an hour after the movie was over. It was so emotional. And the thing is, we couldn't bring my grandfather because he's equally as emotional. Aww. He had to stay home, but we knew that he would be too much for the rest of the people in the yeah. audience. Yeah. But so was I. Like, why didn't they leave me at home? <laughs> so check these photos out right now. He's got a mask on. He's got a little squirter. And this happened on Easter. But the images are now inspiring memes online. And I don't know about you, but if you become a meme, I think you've pretty much made it. Right. Those are some of my life goals. The interview went all sorts of directions that I never expected, mm -hmm. but I now am a better person for it. So thank you so much for joining us for those Same tips. Same thing happened to my life. Thank you both for improving it. Yeah. It's an important part. It's the cool whip. 
the Cool Whip. Mm -hmm. Welcome to my world. <laughs> on a regular basis. Uh, well, coming up in a few minutes, Jenny and I will be hosting a Coin News AM Extra on New Year's Day. And it is Foodie Friday. A fish dish for us. Yes, we're something big fans nice of the and fish. healthy. Yes, yeah. And Elise is, is known for for healthiness. So. I just, you know, you got to stick to it. Anyway, but they have some really great stuff that you can either make at home or, of course, do takeout. So yes. we'll talk all about that on Coin AM Extra. It's going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. AM Extra coming up next.